Hello, I'm Dr. William Pollock. I'm here to tell you today about the Quantron Resonance System, or the QRS, which is a whole body, low frequency, low intensity PEMF system. And it has been around since the mid 1990s. It's designed for home and professional use. The resonance, or the frequency signal, is similar to those of the body's own cells. That is, it's in the range of the four brain states, alpha, beta, theta, and delta. And the resonances of the soft tissues, including the bones, nerves, heart, and other organs. It is one of the most sold and researched PMF systems in the world. The basic system has a control unit and three different applicators, including a large body pad, a pillow type applicator, and a pen type device. The control unit is easy to operate with preset buttons running three programs, vital, basis, and relax. Each program has its own proprietary spectrum of frequencies, running between 0.3 through 1,000 hertz or cycles per second. Each treatment session can be run with either of 8, 16, or 24 minute presets, 8, 16, and 24 minutes. Or it can be manually programmed from 1 to 60 minutes. Intensity is adjusted with these basic programs in about nine separate pre-programmed steps, or it can be manually programmed with at least 24 different intensity setting options. The signal produced by, the P, by this PEMF system is a sinus modulated sawtooth wave. The pad and the pillow applicators are made of hospital grade cotton, making the unit comfortable and easy to fold and wrap around the body. Wrapping allows these applicators to function like many of the rigid, bulky, barrel-type coils seen with many European electromagnetic systems, but with a lot more flexibility. Routine treatments are recommended between 8 and 24 minutes using the presets, two times a day. And for individualized needs, may be manually programmed for up to 60 minutes. Um, and that can be run at any individual session. You can also put together, if need be, more than one 60-minute session. Treatment sessions may, can be repeated uh, by repeating the programs. There's even an option to program a card put down here um, when you're running recurrent protocols or protocols that you're using frequently uh, that would be the same all the time. Now, routine whole body treatments are recommended at least once a day for all users. The pen, pillow, or whole body pad may be used for various amounts of time during any treatment session. They can be combined in different, for different time frames. The QRS is one of the original PEMF systems and the first to provide evidence of ion transport as a primary PEMF action. This is necessary to produce cell energy. Increasing cell energy is a fundamental, a fundamental basis for healing. We're not alone in recognizing the value of the QRS. It was endorsed by Dr. Robert Becker, who was a Nobel Prize nominee and author of The Body Electric, one of my favorite books, and also Professor Dr. Linus Pauling, a double Nobel Prize winner. The QRS is safe and effective and has no side effects. The maximum intensity of the QRS is 40 microtesla, or as I said, about 0.4 Gauss which is well within the maximum safety limit of 100 microtesla for continuous exposure set by the World Health Organization. Over 80,000 QRS systems have been sold worldwide to date. The company has made research and development investments of more than $17 million over the last five years, and the QRS holds three worldwide patents. The QRS has the most extensive research done on it, as far as I'm aware of any PEMF system available directly to the public without a prescription. The original system, the Salute, was to be used with the Mir Russian space program and it was extensively tested by the medical unit in, in that program. The QRS has numerous clinical trials and empirical tests and is backed by a large database of scientific research on the biologic effects of electromagnetic fields. Clinical studies on the QRS, some of which have led to its worldwide patents, have been run in Europe since 1986. In fact, it's taken over 20 years of pure and applied research by several European doctors at universities in Germany and Austria to develop the QRS. And it has been tested at one American and six European university hospitals.
The University of Virginia is currently finalizing write-up of the results of an NIH-funded study about the effects of the QRS on symptoms and functional status in women with rheumatoid arthritis. Preliminary findings show improvement in pain scores, and we're just waiting for the final publication to come out before we say anything further about this. The purpose of this video is to give you a basic description of the QRS. Various technical and cost details are available on the drpollock.com website in the QRS section. I also have other videos describing uh, in more detail how to use the QRS. Thanks for your interest in the QRS, Dr. Pollock.